Hello and welcome to this short Power BI tutorial where we're looking at using Power BI template files for great data visualization to enable collaboration, standardization and good practice. So fictional company, Matador Traders, but we've got a nice navigation page, lays out the aim of this template, you know, buttons below with hovering effect for page navigation. So these could be part of your standard practice. So we want to enable and integrate this navigation page across the organization um, so that we leave our mark if we're creating many reports or collaborating and everything's standardized. We have a nice overview page that can detail the KPIs, metrics over time, pop out slicer panel. And this is actually helping us create good data visualization, make use of dashboard space, keeping things simple, a nice theme, visual layering and and we want to to maintain this across all of our reports if possible and then we drill down into the standard report pages now you'll see i've got several shapes here just to keep a good layer of visualizations without overpowering people sticking to our theme and that way if we collaborate work together we're still obeying best practices so we want to create a power bi template file to incorporate all of this across the organization. Well, how do we do that? Well, the best place is usually to look at Microsoft documentation. So we can move down and see we're, we're really aiming to streamline our work and, and get some great data visualization going. Um, what happens when we create a, a Power BI template is it keeps the data model visualization of the pages, but it doesn't hold the data. So in our case, we've actually just laid out shapes and visuals and people can connect to data, data sets or SQL Server later. Um, to actually use these, you can just, on the, the PBIX file we created, you can just select file, um, export that template, and to use it again, you just create a new blank file, file import on that template. We don't need to worry about parameters because we're doing it more from a visualization perspective. So as I said, we can click file and export. We give a brief template description. Mine's already there because I, I've done this before. So I'll just call it standardized report design. Uh, keep a bit of documentation there. Keep everything looking good. Um, and we can save it. And from there, I'll click yes to replace. You wouldn't have to do that in your first instance. We can go into a new report, report click file, import, and that template file that we have will find it within our system. It will direct you to that. I've just sort of skipped over that. And as you can see, we're left in a whole new report with that great design that we had in the first place. Um, it's going to enable good visualization practices, collaboration, dashboard management, themes, whatever you like. Um, people can go ahead and connect Power BI data sets, SQL Server, whatever their data source is. As usual, if you enjoy this, like, comment, subscribe and share.